I'm gonna tell you five advices that I wish somebody would have told me growing up when I was in my late teens and early 20s. So let's go back to early this morning when I was jogging. Yeah, so that was one lap. And here comes the second. Now, the third. The fourth and the fifth. Yes, yeah, so that was one mile. I'm not doing two miles today because um, I'm lifting weights. So I want to reserve my energy for later. But I usually do two miles every morning. First off, have balance in my life and keep everything in moderation. Too much of a good thing can also become a bad thing. So what do I mean by this? I'm not saying be evil or go out there and commit a crime or be abusive. That's not what I'm trying to say. Um, what I'm trying to say is be nice, but don't get taken advantage of. Be nice to the right people, but always keep a balance of a bad side to you. Uh, like if somebody crosses the line, let them know, hey, listen, I don't appreciate this. Another thing I would have loved to keep in balance, the drinking and partying. At this stage in your life, you're going to get invited to a lot of house parties. You're going to go clubbing a lot. You're going to go to a lot of bars, a lot of drinking, and that's cool. I'm not saying don't have fun. Heck, man, have fun, man. Enjoy your life. I had the most fun at that stage of my life. But you gotta keep in mind, and I wish somebody would have told me this back then, that, that you gotta think of the future. You might not see it now because you're cocky and you're young, your metabolism is at an all time high. I was there too. But that beer belly sneaks up on you and it catches up to you. And it's annoying to take off your body. So keep in mind how many beers you're chugging, how much you are drinking. Keep in mind uh, how many how many nights you go out with your boys. And it's cool to socialize, but you also gotta focus on yourself. You gotta find time for you. The thing that sucks about aging is that you'll notice your metabolism is going to slow down. Also, the hangovers are gonna last a couple more hours. So here's the comparison that I'm going to draw. When I was 19 and 20, like I could get pissed drunk and eat Popeyes and then go to sleep at 4 a.m. I'll still wake up the next day, be able to jog two miles and have no belly whatsoever. Today, if I try to pull the same stunt, I won't be able to jog for shit like the following morning. I'll just be lethargic throughout the whole day. Like the only thing I want is to just sleep and be left alone. So take into consideration how much alcohol you drink today. And that's something I wish somebody would have told me that. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. It's kind of like a cheat code. Basically, if you work out, it could be either cardio or weightlifting. But as long as you keep your body healthy and you maintain yourself, the amount of hours that you have to go through and hangover won't be as bad as what it's supposed to be throughout your mid to late 20s. Hey, So I usually buy these at GNC. Um, it's self-explanatory on what it's used for right here. I personally, I use it to keep my skin younger and um, to get smarter. It does help out with the brain. Uh, this helped me a lot in school. I'll, I will say that if it wasn't for these, I would have had a harder time um, passing my exams. Number two, expediting the process. So, uh, I had to go pick up my protein shake at GNC. Uh, thank God it's open. And I was dying. Like I, I thought I was gonna be fucked throughout the whole quarantine. A lot of YouTube gurus out there are saying, oh, college is a scam. Don't go to college. Well, I mean, it's not really a scam. Uh, there is some truth to it. College does help you out. Uh, the college professors are there to help you expedite the process. It's all about expediting the process. Uh, they help you get a better job. They help you get on your feet uh, much faster. But you can still be an accountant without going to college. The problem is that you're gonna have to be really determined and borrow accounting books from the library and study on your own. That's the only difference. The college professor coaches you. Same thing with the gym. Um, if you go to a gym, you can um, get big a lot faster than a home workout. Unless you're very determined and very disciplined, you could get the same results at home. But very few people like that. Like 99% of the world 
are not that determined. Nobody has that determination, only 1% of the world, including me. I, I'm not that determined. Heck, if I started working out at home, I'm not gonna get as big. Uh, whereas if I went to a gym, I, I would get much bigger in a smaller amount of time. So it's all about expediting the process. Uh, during this stage in your life, you have to find shortcuts. And if you find these shortcuts, trust me, it's gonna be beneficial in the long run because later on, you're gonna have more time to focus on other stuff. I know a lot of you are gonna disagree with me and, and that's fine, college is not for everybody. But you gotta ask yourself, am I dedicating enough time in my craft? Am I really determined to perfect my craft? Am I experimenting with it? Uh, whether it's sales or whether it's uh, catering, whatever, whether it's real estate, all right, you're not going to college, that's fine. But spend time perfecting your craft, experiment with it, be an alchemist, or just mess around with it. Say, oh, is this gonna work or is that gonna work? Uh, be curious. And I see this with a lot of people who haven't gone to college. Uh, I meet a lot of people who haven't gone to college and they don't spend enough time in their craft. They're, they just say, oh, it's going for me. But then at the same time, they're, they're just chilling. Like they're just living um, a regular nine to five job without any dreams or hopes of improving themselves. And that's bad. You don't want to end up there. This brings us to number three, experiment a lot. What I mean by this is for you to go out there and try and experiment, um, try new stuff out and see what are your weak points and what are your strong points. Because now is the perfect time for you to commit mistakes and experiment. Now by mistakes, I don't mean go out there and do stupid shit. What I'm trying to say is try something new, go out there and be curious, experiment with a lot of stuff. Because later on in your adult life, you're not gonna have time for this. And also, you're, there's gonna be little room for you to commit mistakes. Number four, let the past go. We're about to get real personal here. Everybody's been through some type of hell. Everybody's got a story. And life's about perspective. It's about how you react to the things that are happening to you. Uh, basically, my childhood, it wasn't the best childhood. Could have been a lot better. I got my own shit that I had to deal with. But you know what? Not to make myself feel better, but I know for a fact there were people out there who've had it worse than me. People out there who had a worse situation and were in worse scenarios than I was. So it's all a matter of perspective. And I should be grateful for the life that I had. I'm not saying be complacent and be like, oh yeah, you know what, I'm just gonna let it go. No, I'm not talking about that. It's all about forgiving, but not forgetting. Try to move on because what you're doing is that you are hating on ghosts from the past. Like these are people that don't exist anymore. Whoever hurt you in your past, they don't exist anymore because they're different people now. They're not that same person and so are you. You're not that same person from the past as you are today. Today, you're a new you. That little boy that was me in the past, that little boy does not exist anymore. And those people who hurt me, they don't exist anymore. I'm just chasing ghosts. That's all it is. You're just chasing ghosts throughout your whole life. So you gotta get your shit together. A lot of people have this problem and I did for a while until I had to realize that, hey, I can't just waste my life hating and resenting people from my past. I mean, it's out of my control, really. It, there's nothing I can do about it. I can't change the past. I mean, unless there's a time machine. I mean, if there was a time machine, heck, I go to the past and beat a couple people up. But unfortunately, they don't exist. So it's out of my control. And if it's, it's out of my control, if it's something that I can't control, why bother uh, resenting or why bother getting angry over it? There's just no point. Last one, number five. Go easy on yourself. Take a break. When my boys would invite me to go to a bar or a lounge or on a trip to Vegas or Puerto Rico, I did go, but it wasn't as often as I should have. They went a couple more times than I did. And I'll tell you why. Uh, aside from the fact that I'm a financial minimalist, like I like to get my money and save up so I could buy a house before 30. Like th that's my main goal. But putting that aside, the real reason why I didn't travel a lot or didn't go out as much as I should have is because I was scared. Thing is, uh, I had a learning disability growing up and I was scared that even if it was a week away, even if my exam was a week away, if I went out drinking or partying, that I would not have like the capacity to study my ass off throughout the whole week for that one exam. That's how bad it was for me. 
And I think I should have chilled out a little bit more. That was my main flaw back then in college. And I want to tell you guys that just chill out, man. Um, be more confident in yourselves. Don't make the same mistake I did. Have fun. I did have my fun. But my, my later years in college, like my final years in college, I believe I should have had more fun than, than what I did. It wasn't enough. Like I, let me see. I probably went out like twice, um, twice every three months, which is not a lot. So go easy on yourself. You know what? Take a break. Don't be like me.